top of the big rock that's just to the east of Brian Talmer's windsurfing shop or his high octane shop as I like to call it because any activities based on water um, Brian will take you and, and teach you if you're not already familiar with it as I said we're going to try and block you in this morning to the best of our ability um, however we want to bring you this vantage point this morning so you can see that little however just to let you see the uh, kind of erosion that I've had out here over the years you will notice where they have those two people standing on the beach just down there, just beyond them. The actual uh, sargasm is right to the base of the sand dunes. Originally, I'm talking about 30, 35, 40 years ago, um, the sand was almost out to the point there itself. Um, that section was claimed for the building of a house and or reinforced the building of a house. They had casuarina trees all along that section there. As I said, there was white sand there, sand that you wouldn't have seen the sea water on for sure. But as you can see, the erosion has taken place. We've seen it all over the island, not just here all of the west, the east, all the sections of the island. We are said this morning in our preamble that we would be going where the two coastlines meet. That's exactly what we've done on the southeastern tip of the island. Um, anytime you come around from South Point Lighthouse um, in this general area is where we will start to go on to the east. You will notice immediately the impacts of the winds and the stronger sea conditions, etc. Very rough surf conditions. This morning very windy, so you got a nice swell that's running. Not really a surfer's swell, but windy conditions for sure prevailing. Very strong winds. We're right now just to the east of what used to be the Silver, Silver Rock Beach Resort. This was actually um, built and owned originally. It's still owned by the St. John's, but it was built and owned by Bree St. John and his family used to run it uh, for a period of time. It is now officially closed. It's just sitting here. So if you have some money you want to invest in the Barbados, this is an opportunity for you. I remember in this place you see full, full, full all the time, just like Silver Sands Resort itself. Always carried a very high occupancy, however, uh, over time it just dwindled off and this is what has happened to it now. Alright, so we're on top of the big rock, we show you So we put the camera on top where you can enjoy the scenery. Um, Star, good morning to you. I don't know if that was a mistake or if it was actually the I'll, I'll just ask my shadow here, just one minute. Uh, my team, uh, Can you hear me now? Test them, test them. One, two. Okay, let's go on. Alright, so as I said, we are having a few of the natural challenges, but we want to see Barbados. We're coming around the back of the big rock where I was just on top of. I went up there in a sprint, but 
I want to make it look difficult coming down for anyone that's watching because I don't want people to think that they can just come up and down here with average skills. They must be absolutely skilled uh, in all the kind of climbing abilities. I ought to have a gold medal in a big rock climbing competition. Um, so you would know I'm first on this. I'm a certified athlete, as you all know. Anything about athletics, I am the boss at that for sure. All right, so we can make our way down these steps here. Hopefully, we don't lose any signal. It's a little better here than going around the front of the rock, I think. So we'll find out in a few seconds. If you want to come here and climb this rock, you can do so. Please be sturdy. Um, and don't fall up here. If the winds are real strong, you will lose your sense of balance. Um, of course, I am absolutely amazing skills. So it didn't happen to me. But to the average individual, the strong winds are on top of that rock. You can quite easily lose your sense of balance. All right, so for you that did not hear before because of the strong winds and stuff, I'll just do a little recap before we go around inside the rock again. Um, this beach used to be actually as wide out as to the point. Uh, that's like 30, 40 years ago. Uh, Casarina trees all along there. However, the entire front of that wall or the face that was put up to preserve the building on the inside has dropped off. So all the Casarina trees have gone over time. And as you will see, the sea is coming right up to the sand dunes. They're under threat. They will be the next thing under threat. If you're familiar with those sand dunes, you will notice how much sand has actually shifted from them. But before, it was a much more vertical wall. However, it's a lot more slant. The sand has been pulled down now due to nature, etc. Alright, we're going to make our way across here. Sargasm! Uh, well, oh, here's a little bit deep, so this is why today we said to wear your special kind of shoes. I have on the 4x4s, but um, you could have worn sturdy big shoes or 2x2s to walk across this path here. If you're not familiar with where you are again, we're east of what used to be Silver Sands Resort. We're just east of the South Point Lighthouse. We're in an area known as Silver Rock in Silver Sands. Or if you want to know better than that, we are by the Action Shop. That's Brian Talmas Action and Adrenaline Rushing Shop. We'll show you that in a minute. I messaged him late this morning, so he may not be available, but I did ask him if he was in the area. Maybe he'll come and have a little chat with us, but um, we'll see how that goes from here. Nice spring coming off the rocks this morning. We sort of like got a time or a walk across here a little bit better. Um, we have some very uh, a very skilled athlete with me this morning. I'm not showing you who that is yet. Um, we'll tell you a little more about that person in a few minutes' time. Uh, woo, these flies feel lovely. <laughs> All right, we, <laughs> I heard a squeal. <laughs> All right, we're not going to go in this property because. I'm not sure the conditions around here are really way in the so we don't want to have any issues this morning. We did do a little walk through here before. So you put in Silver Rock in our YouTube channel. You will see a little bit more of this here. The planks across this section here. Where this, you see sun that have all started to eat out, etc. Um, the pool has been emptied. Uh, it has been cleaned up a little bit better than last time when it was here. However, this hotel is now non-existing. Just the structure is here. There are no activities going on at all in this resort. Remember, this is what used to be the very popular Silver Rock Beach Resort. Used uh, a lot by Barbadians in Airbnb or for time sharing and also for staycations. Very, very popular area up here. Very unlike most of the other parts of the island. Um, unless you go over to the east coast, it's rough, it's rustic. Yes, I saw someone earlier on backpedaling and they said up oh, there real rough today. And then they turned around trying to smooth down and said, Not you, patient warrior. You are so smooth and handsome and glorious. I, I think you're an amazing person, the most beautiful and handsome individual in the world. If you all did not see all that section, it's because Facebook removed it. But you will see the part of where they said, uh, very rough up there, they are not talking about you, Beijing Warriors. So you will understand the rest of it may have been deleted due to being a very long sentence at the same morning. Silver Sands, beautiful area. Uh, I grew up pretty much in this area from my late teens. Um, surf Silver Sands most of my life. Uh, that was my favorite spot at one time. I was originally at Dover and then I came to Silver Sands and this is where I spent a lot of time. Not actually at Silver Rock itself, but at Silver Sands. However, yes, I did frequent um, Silver Rock area as well, of course. This is a place just to have tons and tons of windsurfing and stuff going on. All right, we're just gonna take you on a little breeze up here of Brian Talma's establishment. And you will see um, this beautiful little lagoon that they have up here as well. Brian, as you know, is one of my soul brothers. from the heart and receiving is not necessary we just give because that is what makes us happy and free um, you would know Brian is an extremely caring and kind person um, helps all of his friends in any way that he can this is his action shot he's now getting ready for his summer program um, if you are overseas 
not actually live in Barbados, you can actually rent his uh, cottages here, um, stay on the complex and he will then be teaching you all about uh, windsurfing and kiteboarding and everything else that comes along with it. Uh, he'll be entertaining you in all those ways and if you do not know how to do them, he will t train you. He or his, um, his actual teachers will train you. I'm going to take a little walk up here. He actually has a section barred off because he's working on the above, set, on the above platform. So we're not going to go in too much further. Brian, good morning to my brother. Um, hope you're having an amazing day. You're probably running Long Beach all like now. Um, but anyhow, that's how it is. I am seeing again that there's lots of wind. I know that, driver. I'm aware of that. <laughs> and you know, we can do our best again to, to keep the mystery going a little bit more. I'm just going to take you around the side of this shop here let you see. All of his arts, remember everything here that you're seeing written or painted is Brian's talent. Brian is an awesome finger painter. I had to call him a finger painter because that's how he does it mostly with his fingers. Very creative. As you also know, he was um, sponsored. He was a Barbados ambassador sponsored for windsurfing. Um, at one stage of the game, he used to be all over in the world circuit. He was actually in, in, in the top 20 for sure for most of that time. Um, right beyond here, he has all of his, um, I would have to say, um, brain waves because stories all of his scribings have a sentimental and a heartfelt purpose if you read them you will understand um, how deep his his um, thoughts and, and spirit goes so anytime you have the opportunity and you're in Barbados please come up here and visit his shop I can tell you it's like an oasis you would not experience the culture or the feeling like this here anywhere else on this island actually anywhere else in this world he's also the founder of the uh, beach culture world beach culture tour um, he's also into um, or organic tourism etc etc all positive contributions that he has made um, to Barbados and also to the world and also to fellow human man and you also see the only tree we like to brag about this this is the only tree in the world that actually blooms surfboards yes that's correct they, they actually do not stop blooming they, they maintain themselves throughout the year so you can come here anytime and take your photos of these beautiful beautiful flowers um, these only happen here in Barbados. You will not see this anywhere else in the world as you would know. Beautiful, beautiful soak away here. So the sands have actually done some bridges across it. A little further on, the communities come together and enhance the area. This is the all swampy and very overgrown. It looks that way right now to you because of all the sargasm that's being placed on the inside, etc. However, up here is absolutely gorgeous, especially when this entire um, soak away fills up with water. Stunning. All right, the mystery is coming to an end. <laughs> I'll tell you boy this is like a nightmare for me this morning when I woke up and I realized what was going to be happening um, I was not happy I was looking at any way to come out of it but uh, my co-star said to me Nicholas the show has to go on don't mind you have put me at home and I'm not allowed to leave home you need to go and make sure that everyone feels the love and sees the beauty this morning even if you have annoyances with you so talking about annoyances let us come around really slowly here right now we have people that have called in sick from work. I gave them medical certificates, so they'll be fine. Uh, we have other retirees that have nothing better to do today, but they're still awake. Good morning, Mary. How are you? And then, as you know, we have our, our head cheerleader who is... <laughs> you all know I annoy her because I love her, but, you know, she's always falling for me. So we'll try and capture her if she goes down today because she can't help herself. She can't stay on her feet for me because I am so amazing. Mary, you do not look quite awake this morning. Well, I feel this. You feel this? <laughs> why, why are you this? Tell me, explain yourself to us. I don't want to use a word here and not explain it. You knew we were coming and you disappeared from view and we could not find you. Oh, so yeah, you are... You fine. Oh, so you are telling me that you didn't listen to my voicemail number one on I Am, which I sent to you and Nicole listened to and found me. I and saw you're... rocks. Yeah. How I know which big one rock, is a big, rock. The big rock. How I... <laughs> As you can see, she is in a fretful mood. But Mary... You were telling me that you would rather me not show our family the sunrise because you want them to meet no. me in a car park. <laughs> I put you on the spot. No, no, my, I know Cheryl is a handsome. Cheryl, you, want, you have anything to say this I morning? I just saw you up on the hill and was wondering it's how not a do hill. I get it up. It is a rock. How do I get up on the rock? There was no nickel. Mary and I yeah. are going around in circles, but it ended up beautiful as it always does. Oh, yes, of course. And definitely. Always. I saw you all over the beach. I said, those two people Let down there. I felt like saying, those two us. puppets down there, but then everybody will know who I was talking about. And the person is calling sick, so don't worry, boss man. If you see her, remember I wrote a certificate. Sick. You didn't call in sick. I'm on vacation for two days. I don't know what kind of vacation, but two days vacation. Listen, Miss J, I have a a huge, a huge respect for you this morning. He takes me through deep sargasm, people. Deep 
I stepped into deep wait, 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 wait. Let, let, let's show. That's all <laughs> that's all that's all all in my show. You saw all up over the ankles and stuff. And yes. Uh, that's uh, that's okay. okay. I saw. That's the smell stick. Yeah. And then the little sandfly. So, oh. Miss Jane. I heard you squeal at your sandfly just now, though. I take a bow to you. Cheese, all right. Because you follow him every day of the week. Kudos to you. Well, I have a few corrections to you. I rather lead on Saturday. <laughs> right. I, I have a few. Well, I have more corrections to you now. Number one is, uh -huh. is that I never led you out there. You you decided <laughs> to come and see if you could walk to where I was. Right. Number uh -huh. number two is, is uh -huh. that she has to get up in the morning. She doesn't follow me. She walks with me. Say. And number three is, you show us the way on a Saturday. Don't lead. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind your bad behavior. You want all the stardom. We let you know. You just, you just show us the way. Oh yeah. So. God. All right, so as you can see, I have some real annoyances <laughs> with me this morning. Poor, poor, quiet Silver Sands uh, community this morning have been disturbed. But if I got a bear with them, Silver Sands, sorry, you got a bear with them as well. All right, so we are missing a lot of our Spice Girls, but this morning we have three. Um, so we're really happy to have you all. Thank you all so much for joining us this morning. I was trying to give, I just let you all know, I was trying to give Nicole and Mary the gimbal to do all of our vlog this morning. Um, but Nicole has declined. She says, Nicholas, I have done all I'm planning to do for the family this week. And you can hear her laughing. That means it's true. And um, Mary said, no, I am not only gimbal because I lie too much and I, I cannot uh, do that or John will put me out of the house just like you put Jeanette in quarters. That's what will happen. So. But Jeremy, where's the love this morning? How you mean you're going to call my boss and tell him I call in sick? Yeah, well, know, Jeremy's in a bad mood yeah, because... Then? Yeah, yesterday, yesterday he was reprimanded by, by our co-star oh. and she dealt severely with him, so oh, he, he's not happy okay. and he also but knows he, that he... He's ready to call, it, call me and no, I, I'm, I'm off legitimate, legitimate. This is you are? So that, that sick note that I wrote for you was not necessary? Mm, it wasn't necessary. Well, but it was perfect, oh. wasn't it? Absolutely yeah. great. And Jeremy, yeah. you know, you, I'm not dissing you because my house is already, you already speaking with the architectures, right? Mm -hmm. Architects? Right? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. So I am on your side no matter what. Gee, you boy, know. Cheryl, you are, you, I gotta call you a real brung nose, though. Just make That's all sure I have to that say. you pay the bills. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who, Jeremy? Well, you got trouble now. That man's so cheap then. All right, so we're gonna proceed onward. We're just doing a little stroll this morning. They said they wanted to come and hear my voice so I could bat them. They don't have to actually see my face because they know how beautiful I am. Remember, I radiate beauty all around me. I'm a 360 degree beauty radiator. <laughs> <So> <laughs> you all have knew that word existed, huh? Well, you hold that. Once again, another beautiful angle of this. Uh, surfboard blooming tree. Remember, these were not put here. These are actually bloomed. I can tell you, I saw them budding and everything before they actually came out full bloom. But they have maintained their status now for a long time. It's looking absolutely great. As I said before, up here is a different world, a completely different world. If you if you want to find something different in Barbados, you want a different experience, come up here. And I've seen people mention it just so on here. If you have the, I will have to say the honor to sit down with this man here and listen to his his visions and his focus and his journey and let him tell you what he has in mind and what he would like to see happen in this world uh, you will be blown completely away so come up here, sit down, spend time with Brian um, I will tell you, when you leave here you're going to feel completely things in a completely different way a completely different light will be shown on it alright, if we want to go down the beach if we go down the beach right now to our next location we're going to go down the beach so we're going to back off a little bit and we're going to walk down the road and we'll cross the bridge that we talked about and then we'll go into the park and work from there because right now it's, it's really really windy at the moment we knew the wind conditions were going to be fairly severe uh, Mary said she didn't care if you all could not hear me she wanted to go to a windy area so that's why we're here thanks Mary <laughs> as you all know I do not like I tell the truth only hold on a sec though I, I'm really depriving you all of something though hold on a second just so you all see the most beautiful thing that we're all here to see and that's me of course I came out this morning to see myself and so did they. See how, see how happy Mary looks? She not, ah, you see? She just looked in the camera and saw my face and you saw a big smile come up. Now before she saw me, there was no real big smile. But anyhow, we're here this morning. We're going to take you on a natural walk of a beautiful, natural area. So the whole set for us. All right, back on board. Before, I hear a lot of laughter behind here. I hope, I hope they're not cracking jokes at me, you know. Now before uh, Brian came here, um, this community was here, of course, or some of it, not all of it, because a lot of buildings have gone up since then. However, um, he came with the focus and the thought that the community could come together and promote Silver Sands area as one rather than separately. So that's basically what has happened. He's used a very old fishing boat here that was given to him to put all of his artwork and stuff. Inside of it is actually 
um, sort of like a museum of uh, photos of him in his youth when he was representing Barbados um, all over on the inside section. A lot of photos of his family, uh, very conscious and, um, and uh, uh, etc. His friends are in there from years ago, Roger Miller, etc. You'll see those photos, and as I said, very conscious writings. Writings that come from his heart, he will scribe these here. He also has a book as well if you're interested in reading some information about Barbados that you will not find anywhere else, I can assure you. I know if Slurpy Dave is on board, you keep on asking about the shop. Shop is still functioning. I know this is one of your hangout spots because I know you're a man of culture. You like to stop at all your rum shops and stuff. Send work to Simon. The only difference is when Simon leaves these rum shops, usually they have to order a new stock because all of it has been um, you know, taken by her and consumed by her. But again, he spread his information, uh, all of his strong cultural words and positive words right across everything in his artistry. You can understand how long this would have taken for him to create. Huh? And look all around, all the boats, all the walls and his structures, everything is scribed. Everything has a meaning. If you sit, you can read these here without even bringing a book to the beach with you. This is London Bar that's directly behind us. And this is where they will just sit and relax and enjoy themselves. Well, as we are here by Brian, we just mentioned also, you will see a lot of his um, artwork all on the poles going on the soup bowl and the numerous areas around the island. If you look up on a pole and you will, you will see the finger painting that he has produced, he has spread it out. Nobody's paid him for it. That's something he has done to beautify the island and bring more consciousness to, to life and to the general way of living. So all this area has been beautified. Again, we are talking about even like six, seven years ago, you wouldn't have seen all of this beautiful, beautiful um, landscaping and stuff that's going on here. Remember, this is done by the people of this area. This is nothing, uh, this immediate section here is nothing to do um, with a government venture. This is, this is the people, the community of this area in this immediate section here. So the, all these here are being planted, these plants. The last thing we're up here, there was one of the gentlemen. I, I'm sure the government has an input in it, but I know that the community is actually who forged a lot of this stuff here together. Lovely bench area here as well. You can sit and enjoy some view. What we'll do is I'll give you 20 seconds. Um, if you were sitting here on the afternoon or any time of day and enjoying up here, I'll give you 20 seconds of view of what you'll be taking in just so you can enjoy this. Look at this tropical oasis. I had to call this heavenly. Enjoy this for 20 seconds, except, except for the noise from those annoying people behind me. Um, forget them, numb them out. Enjoy this here. Nicole has not stopped talking once. Nicole, okay, so let me let me let me turn this camera around, let everybody see how you're relaxing and enjoying. And as you can see, everyone else is taking up a seat. No one left any room for poor Mary, so Mary's left standing. Oh, since I've said that, thank goodness I said that because Cheryl decided to move over and give her a scotch as well. So you can see, this is who is walking with us this morning. Michael was supposed to turn up, but he's leaving tomorrow, so I, I think he didn't want to see the girls because as you saw yesterday, he. He somehow came to see me on the boardwalk, but he, he did. didn't want. Yes, he did. If you did, you didn't watch the vlog yesterday. Shame on you, Nicole. Shame on you. And he also, as you always see, Nicole has not watched the vlog. Sunday afternoon sleep. Sunday, okay, Sunday afternoon sleep. Right, we are out this morning. I know you had to go to see early, so we are here enjoying this, and we're gonna take our walk on from now. You see all the dog went on there. Yes, yeah. all the conversation. Yeah. Oh, see that one there? Nicholas is so handsome. Oh, yeah. yeah, I love him so much. He's the most amazing person in the world. You saw that one there? Spread yeah, I screen. see it. Okay, thanks a lot. It's not thanks, there. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened to her today. As you can see, she is telling a lot of lies. And anyway, she's not even holding you, but I guess it's an after effect from our vlog on Saturday. All right, so we're gonna start walking again. You all ready to walk again? Have you all, are you all just sitting there relaxing? Let me let me do a let me do a still shot. I mean, we have that started to do this here at Q in the community. So you know, Q in the community love photos. So we're gonna do our photo opportunity. You all ready? Yeah. Click click. <laughs> There you go. A, a photo opportunity for you. We're the only people that do it. EMC has done it first, as you can see. We're not only an educational channel, <laughs> but we're, we're, also, we're also a photographic channel as well, as you would have seen. And look, look at these girls. Look. Now, as you can see, I am a massive guy because they're sitting on that little bit of the bench. I had that whole side occupying that. That is because I am actually a massive individual. I am well-structured. Actually, they call me perfectly chiseled. Um, so I took up that entire half a bench and they're scotched here in the other part and believe me It's not anything about how they didn't want to sit with me. They were sitting shoulder to shoulder with me, of course All right, we're moving on from here now 
we leave them for a little while. I know, I know they just want to talk, 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 but I don't want to talk with them this morning. I, I'm in an antisocial mood with them for sure. So we're working our way across the Silver Sands. We're coming up to the recreational area. Um, remember, you can get Wi-Fi facilities up here. So if you want to come up here and sit in, on the trees and enjoy the actual beautiful sea spray and the lovely smells, these fresh smells at the moment, no, no real sargasm odor or anything at the moment. It will happen later in the year uh, if things are as it has been in the past, but at the moment um, it, is, it is lovely up here. Really, really beautiful area. As I said before, it's a natural treasure for sure. All right, as you will also see, all of the plants here have up wind blocks in front of them using coconut limbs, natural stuff again. Um, this is because of the continuous winds. If they don't do this here, these plants will all grow at an angle, um, sort of like a spoiler on a car blown away from the direction of the wind. So this is sort of like to protect them um, so they have a chance to get strong and sturdy. This is, again, beautiful. This is a lovely little new addition up here. Well, I was up here before. I used to have to jump across this area. No, none of y'all could do that. Only I could do that because I have an amazing long jumping skill. Again, another one of my gold medals I do not like to talk about. Um, however, they then put a log across there, which I used to go across actually doing uh, all kind of back flips and rolls and stuff just to show people how it could be done. Again, something that you all could not do because I am a gold medal achiever in all kind of aerobics, etc. Uh, however, a beautiful bridge has been built now for people like Nicole and Mary and Cheryl. If not, they would not be able to cross the other side. Um, um, so this bridge has been purposely built for them. Though when they built it about a year ago, they knew we were coming. Again, there we go. Beautiful, a little bit intense in the sun. Beautiful, beautiful view right there. All right, so we have a little more wind. We're gonna be working our way down to the former Silver Sands Resort. That's the area that these ladies have, have asked to walk in today. So we're gonna go and enjoy that. Um, I, we have not actually done a walk with them in this area before, so they're looking forward to this. Um, good morning to our co-star Jeanette, my darling, I love you. Wish you were here with me right now, but you know it is, if you behave bad, I have to, I have to eat my, um, you know, my heart and, and punish you. <laughs> Confined to quarters, that is what we like to call it in the military, um, but we're going to say under house arrest because you're a civilian, so you're under house arrest, very much like Sam. Um, from Sam and Dan, I understand he's under house arrest as well. He cannot leave home. So good morning to you um, Sam and Dan again. Thank you and the guys that played with you all last night for an amazing session I don't know if you all have seen that video yet Unfortunately, the signal in the Hastings and Rockley area was atrocious yesterday All of our plans for where we want to walk and stuff had to be scrubbed We had to start all over again in another location and then when we got all low and hold the video signal was only at 480, which is <laughs> horrible. I tried like six different downloading um, software, but unfortunately we were stuck with that. Then we ran it through um, one that would actually filter it a little bit and stuff and maybe enhance it a little bit for YouTube. So it might be a little better on YouTube. Um, but again, the actual content of the vlog, I think was great. Of course, because they saw me. That's the most important thing. But also because we had a chance to take in the musical artistry of the band. We got them all in a little bit of a solo session, so if it's a little bit speckly, I still would encourage you to have a look and see. Guys are passionate about what they do, um, passionate to be able to bring the EMC some joy. Remember, they came out last night for the EMC. Uh, I understand that they're employed by I Chill on a Sunday, but last night they said they were coming for us. You can take that from me. Do not mind if Dan comes on here and contradicts that. He's in a band, so you would understand he's going to contradict everything. So, yeah, anyhow, good morning to you again, Dan. <laughs> Up here has been cleaned up beautifully since we were here last time. Last time we were here up here was full of bush, all types of uh, crab grass, and, and absolute overgrown. However, I will show you something else in a minute, but we're going to show you the facility here. Remember, Wi-Fi facilities are available. Um, you can shower here as well. Um, the washroom facilities here, as you can see quite clearly. Just look beyond the, the um, annoying people here and see the beautiful surroundings of the park. Lots of benches, lots of shade, lots of beauty up here and an intense sunlight, which is just actually blinding Cheryl completely out, which is great. <laughs> but the cleanup up here is incredible. As I said, last time we were up here, all here was full of, of vines and crab grass and stuff. All that has been moved. We see the cleanup. Yeah. They had the. BLC. Hold on a sec. We we got we got we got a little update here from from Miss our Miss Historian. Hold a second. The um the okay. government held the, their annual picnic mm -hmm. on National Heroes 
day and it was held in this location so maybe all of this cleanup that we're seeing was because thousands of people would have been up here so you're saying that's the only reason that we're seeing this no, cleanup no but i think that that may have uh, <laughs> encouraged it to happen uh you thought i wasn't gonna put you you thought i wasn't gonna put you on spot this morning okay no problem yeah so you all heard it straight from the horse's mouth <laughs> oh, she said meh. I thought she said nay from the horse's mouth, but no problem. She said meh. It may have been for that reason. Now, we, we always like to say what we know and stuff, which you will obviously have seen. Hi. Oh, they held it here. It's just, it's just children's park out here but unfortunately for the time COVID has been um, COVID took an impact on Barbados and nothing has been done to that park uh, thankfully they've removed all of the rotten chain link fence and stuff that was there so yes I'm pretty sure that what was said um, by Nicole is probably what happened it was all cleaned up because of the big celebration they had here um, hopefully it'll be maintained a lot easier to maintain it is uh, to maintain it than to actually do the clean up itself we can take a little walk on top of this embankment here as you will notice, this is what I said just now I want to show you. This is new. They've also put all the blocks across here because people in war wagons or beasts like mine would have driven through the rough sandy area. However, they're prohibiting driving to the top of this cliff and we'll show you in a second why. This um, was the rock I was expecting to find you on there. Mary, huh? does this look like a big round rock to you? Well, it looks big. Mm-hmm. Kind of roundish. Okay, kind of roundish. Okay, I guess, I guess that building over there looks kind of roundish too. All right, okay. So at this time of morning, as you can see, Mary cannot differentiate between square, oblong, and round. But that's all right, no problem. They said we are an educational channel. So by the end of the day, she'll be well aware of it. I'll draw all the examples to her. All right, now after last time we were here, which was like maybe a few months ago, actually. Um, I can't remember when it was, tell you the truth. Every day merges, you know me already. When you're on retirement, you have nothing to do every day. It's just one day. Uh, you just have a dark time of day and a light time of day, and that's pretty much it. But last time we were up here, we were able to drive right across here. Um, not on the vlog itself, but you could easy park over here. A lot of the windsurfers usually come up on a section or kite boats and, and park in this general area. We have been talking about the road up here. I'm sorry again about the wind. The amount of sand that has moved in this area. All these trees were mature and had, I would say, maybe about mm, eight to ten feet in front of them of sand boom that is going towards the water area. This area used to have big mature calcium trees that mature and have fallen out. It is absolutely crazy what's going on in this coastline. All the coastlines up here very noticeable. Again, no vehicle traffic being allowed up here, obviously because of unsafe conditions because the amount of slippage that we're seeing up here unbelievable i cannot believe how much slippage has occurred but i said before the beach was almost go right up to that point they all along this white slope that you're seeing there with sandbar that was um loaded that had like three casuina trees between us four casuina trees between us and out there so all that has gone now you can see sargasm just being piled up on the intersection it is that time of year is the season but these are the noticeable drop-offs that we're seeing and this is probably why the vehicle traffic is being stopped trying to preserve the sand dunes because without the sand dunes this entire park and stuff will be under thunder under pressure and under threat if you wanted natural beauty you're getting it this morning you want some wind and stuff even if you didn't want it you're getting it this morning if you want to see some annoying people you're also getting that this morning so all this morning is not nice people like myself but we have actually our space girls play a huge part in what we are as you all know mary dedicated to our journey she her own journey but walking with us all the time cheryl another dedicated person for the time she came on i got some stories i can tell you about her but i don't have all day right now and then we have nicole who has come along she's actually our saddle she is now known as aka the emc liar because she is that incredible her history is full of lies i know you all would have had problems with following it but if you want, you can get my own history book written by the Bajan Warrior and you will see how many contradictions there are there. Remember, it was all... You all know that I have learned from the best of telling lies. That 
with no. the baby. You have alert me, mess. You have overtaken the best. Let me get that right. Okay, let's go again. All right, so we're gonna walk again. Now again, just to give you an understanding of the slippage and the damage in this area, um, we used to walk around this point here. Um, I would say after maybe 20 years ago, quite comfortably with we surfboards, with equipment. Um, it was at least six foot wide there. It was all marl top because that is the section that was laid or was helped to reinforce that property. Uh, however, that entire cliff front has dropped off. You can no longer go around in front of that property. The, the actual property fences are under thunder, under pressure. Some have even dropped away in the front section by the sea itself. So I will tell you how much land has gone from out here. I guess, you know, we're giving it and then it comes and goes again. It's, you know, I'm sure it's a part of a big cycle. Um, I don't know. I, I'm very, very much of a layman. I don't know any of these things. I haven't studied them because my only studying in school was surfing. Surfing and, of course, girls because I, I was a party man. Um, but those, those have changed now. Um, actually, no, they have not. I still check all the waves and I still check my co-star, who is, <laughs> who is my party girl. Um, but you know, we're gonna walk this way now and go around this section. One is we can't get around the front and two is is because the wind is so strong. You will also notice the last time that we were up here, um, there was some rotten chain link all over the place hanging around and stuff. So the cleanup has not only been on the vegetation and the bush that was in this general area, but also an overall cleanup, which is looking so much more beautiful because Silver Sands really is a lovely spot. The football up here, very competitive sport. Um, football and cricket pitch, they're all out here in the center of this field, very big field as well. Um, the Silver Sands crew represent themselves extremely well, so if you want to watch a little bit of soccer or football, we call it football, you may call it soccer, um, or if you want to watch some cricket, come on up here, check out when they have on the match or stuff and come and enjoy it. Lots of shade as you can see, lots of trees, lots of areas you can just sit down and relax. All right, so we're making our way around the lower property. Again, everything is being cleaned up. Even even parts of the fencing that were there, well, they're still there for Silver Sands, but it looks so different now it's being cleaned up. Then I'm wondering how we've got to this road so quickly, but we are here. This is beautiful. Nice training that's going on here. This is a beautiful dog and well-trained as well, for sure. You can see all the commands and everything being followed right through. Beautiful morning, beautiful dog. Good day. Morning. All right, so it looks so strange with all the cleaning up going on. I did not even realize we were on this road here to go through. Going back now probably to like the 80s, uh, even into the 90s, all of these properties here, a majority of them, put on extensions onto their properties um, because the windsurfing was so, so much in demand that and around the time of winds, which is usually like February, late January, February, March, really winds were and we used to hold a big international competition, windsurfing competition here as well, massive windsurfing competition. All of these accommodations would be overflowing with people who were staying through Airbnb style. As you would also know, a lot of properties in Barbados invested heavily into their properties to create apartments and accommodations when we had the World Cup as well. Unfortunately, main teams are not totally the World Cup, that's cricket, not totally the World Cup and unfortunately the numbers dwindle. So a lot of people are invested in their homes um, but non accommodations with the thoughts of thousands coming here to Barbados. A lot of them suffered because um, the actual thousands did not come because the main teams got knocked out. It's a beautiful, beautiful area. We're behind some trees now, so we're going to get a little bit of sheltering from the winds and stuff. As you can appreciate, um, up here, very, very run down on the Silver Sands side. Uh, Silver Sands Resort, this is their property in here. This is the newest section. We're going to walk by it in a few minutes, just to mention it. This is where Silver Sands Resort was. This is where I pretty much lived seven days a week for many, many years. All of my crew, all the crew from Silver Sands, we call my crew. We used to all hang out here, Mouse, Hardman, um, so many of them. We can't call all, but all of them were from this section here. Um, we used to all hang out and play beach volleyball or surf or just skylark and hang out on a day. So I was a Silver Sands uh, guy at one time, uh, just like I've been a Dover guy, South Point guy, anywhere, anywhere guy. So. <laughs> all right, you would also remember our last visit here. We talked about the removal of the minstrel windsurfing shop that used to be here. That was a big, big international windsurfing shop. Um, that was lo run by locals here on the island. However, that was a part of Silver Sands Resort. That was left here in ruins for a long period of time. However, the derelict buildings have been taken down. Still not cleaned up, but taken down. This is the newest wing of what was Silver Sands Resort. This was built years after I came here. Um, this was the last section. 
Actually, this only survived for a couple of years before Silver Sands closed its doors. Still a mystery. I never saw in the times that this used to operate, this place not at least 50 or 60 percent occupancy. No, I did not keep their books, but I remember quite clearly how many people were here. I remember how many people used to here year round in season. You couldn't get a room in here. There's no way. Windsurfing had everything locked off for sure. So you're walking through the actual windsurfing site. Let me see where those ladies are. First of all, just to let you all know that they may walk slow, but let me tell you, they're most fast. They have not stopped talking. That's why I put some distance between me and them because I want you to hear the most amazing baritone and harmonic voice in the world. Um, so they would distract you all from that. That is why you walked away from them. But don't mind, we're gonna, we're gonna keep an eye on them for sure. Now I am sure this is probably the first thing Cheryl is coming through this section. So they're gonna be oohing and eyeing and they're gonna be in absolute disbelief at how a structure like this here could just go to ruins. Again, it is our, well, my, I got, I have to say my, not our now. It is my belief that all of the um, resorts in Barbados that are currently closed, that are just sitting there and dilapidating, or dilapidated condition, um, I believe all of these should be the first things that the government should look for investors to go into rather new, open new locations. Uh, I can't see why a place like this area that's sitting here doing nothing couldn't be revamped and reutilized by one of the big chains that come to this island. There's nothing wrong with up here. It's a little bit rougher with the sea and conditions and stuff, but that is the conditions that some people like. All right, so we make our way down. All this again, right across here where you're seeing the crabgrass and the vines that are going across this section. All across here was originally sand dune, and then there was a massive beach in front of it. So things have changed. You will see along here, there was a boardwalk. They ran from like where Mary is standing right now, and they went right across here. All the poles, even the foundations to the poles have dropped because they were in that sand area that is now gone. Big, a real crying shame, honestly, a crying, crying shame. I know, not, I know nature is nature, we have no control over it, but it's a crying shame to see a resort such as this here not being utilized, because I remember how this place was. This place was a hive of activity. Um, never empty, but in season, full to the max. We're not going to go up in the upper section, but I will show you where the boardwalk used to come across. Again, we look at the newer section here. This was the newer wing at Silver Sands Resort. This actually had its own reception area away from the main one, um, which was for the rest of the resort. They had a reception area and a, a courtyard just on the other side of this building here. You can see where the boardwalk is here and where it used to run. This gives you a clear, clear understanding of what kind of erosion has taken place here. This boardwalk is to run right across here in front of all this sand section here on a high elevation uh, right up to the windsurfing shop. However, due to the erosion and stuff, you can see it's going on. Outside of the mansion just now, with a little bit of sun, we still want to point it out. You can see there's no walkway in front of that fence there by that house. All that has gone. All the boulders that reinforce the walkway as well, they have gone. Only the inner ones remain. All the rest have gone pretty level now. See, just, just pull them down with its power. All right, we're gonna go up an embankment here and we're gonna show you a little more resort because as you can see, a lot of sargasm on the beach. Yes, it's the east side, so up here it gets hit, whether it's coming in on the east or whether it's coming in south. Um, this is southeastern section, so it picks up. No matter where the currents are bringing sargasm, as long as sargasm, you will find some here and on Long Beach and Foul. Well, Foul Bay, not so much, I won't pick up if it's a south float, but definitely here on Long Beach for sure. All right, I know the girls are not gonna be coming up here. I wouldn't think they would be. Um, they're not skilled in uh, mountain climbing like I am. Again, another one of my untold gold medals I do not like to talk about. Um, just to give you an idea of how it looks now. If you had seen here in its heyday, uh, you had experienced the atmosphere here. Even if you did not like the conditions for the sea, you would have stayed here because it was an adrenaline rush place. There was action all the time, windsurfing, in those days, a little bit of kiteboarding, but no foil. Um, Tom, a little, a little while before that started. All the planks that were here, you can see the poles on the left and right. Even if you've followed our vlogs over the last two and a half years, when we started the vlogs up here, you would remember this boardwalk was in place. It has gone now. Planks probably rotten, some of them probably moved. But as you can see, they have actually dismantled them and thrown them on the side here, just to make it a little safer, because people obviously like me, um, who want to bring nosy people like you up here to show you were in danger of walking across this section. First time I ever saw Mr. Impact play was up here at Silver Sands. I uh, used to come up here, as I said, live on this location all the time. So I know Silver Sands extremely well. I remember Mr. Impact playing the bar just in front. Last time he came through here again, which was very dense. 
However, as you know, we're in dry session now. It's called a drought. There are water restrictions in Barbados. You cannot use hoses. You should not wash your cars. If you see someone drive around with a clean car, and you ask them, well, where did you get that wash? And they don't tell you that it was a professional car wash where they use equipment that minimizes the impact on the water. Uh, you would know that they are using a bucket and a sponge and no hoses right now. Sign still up. Sign looks great. Rassi Hotel may look horrible, but the sign still looks great as it was just put there. All right, we're going to walk our way into the resort. It's Monday morning. I'm trying to stay away from the women, so if I stay up here, they're going to come and catch me. So we're going to go through. Again, the boardwalk used to run down here. If you were at Silver Sands in the 90s, especially in the 90s and later 80s, you remember a whole set of guys that used to have a beach volleyball net that was uh, pulled between a coconut tree and on the beach here and we used to play every afternoon. That was us. So if you remember those, you will remember me. If you remember the body surfing, um, I would have to say to Olympic kind of standards, that was me again. Um, but yes, that, that's how it was. So let's walk back in time. Boardwalk used to walk through here. Remember the boardwalk was a recent, not a recent, but an addition in the latter part of the life of this hotel. Um, that wasn't always here. I used to walk across the sand dunes and stuff. And as I said, when the windsurfing shop was built, they then um, moved over to that section. We're going to make our walk through the back here. We can see how it goes. Um, I wouldn't think there's any security really on play here today. I know that they're seeing me with a camera in my hand, so hopefully they'll understand that I'm carrying some kind of footage um, to show people everything. But I want to walk you into what it was like. Again, if you are familiar with Silver Sands Resort, as I am, you will have some feelings when you're going through here. I get pretty emotional because a lot of my life, a lot of my foundation is here at this resort. So um, every time I walk in it, I don't see it as it is. I see it as it was. I remember all the bar staff in the sunken bar. I remember all of Mr. Impact playing. I remember all the dancing that was up here. I remember the run punch parties, the managers run punch parties and stuff that were held here as well. So you're walking through uh, abandoned and derelict buildings. I'm walking through memories. So if you are also privileged to be around here at the time that this place used to really function, you will enjoy this walk as well. So don't, don't look at what it is. Look at what it could have been. Have a look at the possibilities and understand why people like myself and anyone that knows Silver Sands cry every time we come here. But the emotions are not only tears, they're joy because we remember the days that we had up here. So here we go. As you can see, these ladies are not as adventurous as me. They're going to be coming this way shortly. I hope they don't get lost. Um, they won't see me because they move so quickly and I can't, I can't drop any uh, markers for them to follow. So here we go. Inward we shall go. The last time we tried to bring you all in here, the very last time, not the time before, we couldn't get this section because of all the dense growth and stuff. However, as you can see, very brown. Almost all the leaves have dropped off. A lot of the wood and a lot of the bush that was here is actually rotten away. So we can get through to this resort. So here we go. We're going to carry you on a trip down memory lane. Come, walk with me. Let's take a tour of Silver Sands as it was in our minds and as it is now. For all the reps in Barbados, I'm going to put on our, for our flash here so we can hopefully get a little bit of lighting because it's a little bit dark in here. For all of our uh, reps in Barbados as services hotel and all the clients here for the years, I know you'll all see walking on this memory lane because this is where you used to have your briefings as well in this general section. Um, as I told you about the sunken bar, which I used to love because it, when you sat in your chair, you were at the height of people and not below them, which was great. Um, so that bar is actually a little bit lower than the actual level of in here. And this was one of the restaurants, not the main restaurant. This was what they call the pool bar restaurant. The main restaurant, I'll take you over in that section in a few moments time. No, back years ago, you would have had laughter. You would have had people talking, uh, people saying woos and was with all the massive uh, aerial jumps that you went surface, you see pulling, etc. Um, beautiful, beautiful memories. All right, our foot dragging slow pokes. I'm just going to go back here and shout them up and tell them to come on down because they may think that I'm coming back over here. I am coming over here, but in the opposite direction. So hopefully they will be able to make their way up here. I told them to wear the right attire this morning, as you will see. Um, Nicole did not know to use her attire. She decided to step in the deepest sargasm she could find just so she could blame me. 
Let me see if we can get him to come over this way. Y'all coming in this way, right? Woohoo! Hello, ladies. Come. So they're coming, they're frightened. They don't realize that they have the mighty Bajan warrior with them, so they have no reason to have fear. All right, so we're gonna take a little more walk through. We've never went around this section, but I want to take you around here so I can tell you a little more. We did talk with the main restaurant and stuff. A um, lot of um, light contrast and stuff today because we're going in and out of buildings, lots of sea spray, some on the lens as well. Um, however you bring you as it is. If you were walking in this area, this is exactly what you would experience. The original Silver Sands, or I would say the main section of Silver Sands was over on the other side. There was a, a, um, a whole, um, I would say a mass of apartments, a big block of apartments used to run from the sea direction over to land direction. Then this was put onto it. This is where the reception then turned into. And this was the second part. And then they started to build from here and go above, which was the final part. Um, originally, the reception was over um, in the other block, uh, which turned in then into a little mini mart and stuff. And then I don't know what happened after that. And then this is where the main reception turned into the main office section. In front of us is where was the main restaurant. We'll show you a little bit more of that as we get around to the side. However, we would like to show you the pool as well that they used to have. They had two pools here. There was one that was known as the adult pool, which got fairly deep, which is here. And then they had uh, what was known as a kid's pool below where they used to actually play volleyball in the water, or water volleyball. So we go over to that section as well. There was also a diving board up here as well. So things have changed. It, it, it used to be a beautiful place. I know that if you've been here before, you're going to start crying a little bit, but don't just cry. You were able to see here and it's full, full condition, perfect condition at one time. You see, beautiful kitchens and stuff were located directly in front of us and then the main restaurant we take a peep on the inside show you that and then we'll come back out and show you the grounds a little bit more you're going to go into about an hour this morning so i know that a lot of people don't like long vlogs so i understand if you're only on for five minutes but um you could do a lot of five minutes if you get bored today so this was the original restaurant this was the high-end restaurant what they used to call it anyhow or this is their main restaurant this is for formal dining etc I'm not going to show you right around. Um, in the bot section, there are tennis courts as well. They still, last time I saw them, they still look in good condition. I don't know if people still play on them, but there are some tennis courts in the background. You can see the vandalism that's going on up here. These are not just the decays. These are people breaking all the glass and shattering it from the outside. You can see that. Unfortunately, vandalism is worldwide. It's not just where you're from. Uh, it's where we are as well, which is a regretful thing, but that's just how people are. No value. Some people don't have any value on life, far less value on their surroundings. This is a shallow pool, it was known as a kids pool. Um, they used to also have a, a net that used to strung across here. A lot of people used to play uh, pool volleyball and stuff. You see an amazing time up here. Like I said, full octane. When there was no wind, all the wind surface and stuff, you see either playing paddle ball or playing, in those days it was a tennis ball issue and it's a tennis court thing. You will also see um, the leftovers or remnants of their jacuzzis. They had um, three in this section here, I only see two. But they have also been moved because they were all in wooden, a wooden deck that used to run right across here. So I used to come up here and frequent these here, sit in these here and watch the sea and watch the day go by. Um, when I was not surfing, of course. And right across here was a, another wooden pool deck. The, what was originally the band stand that turned into the, the hot spot that everyone wanted to sit in on a day. Because um, it had a little bit of sheltered um, roofing. It also had the best vantage point about here was right here. This was originally the bandstand up here at Silver Sands. You will remember that quite clearly. And this wooden deck here was frequented by everyone. When you came out of the sea, you used to come up steps just over there to the shower. It was right there on the corner as well. Now, this place here, I'll give you another visual um, memory. And that is that they had what you would see like in the uh, Mediterranean or up in the Sanchez and stuff up there. Um, they had large um, thatched umbrellas, not the beach umbrella, but big wooden umbrellas that were had coconut limbs laid across the top. They used to span right across the section as well. Uh, again, this area, all the section that we're going to be looking at right here now is what was relatively new. When I first came to Silver Sands, that was grass pasture. There was no buildings in this section. This hotel was one of the, in the highest demand hotels for staycations in Barbados. A lot of the Bajan families, anytime you had a bank holiday, they would book year round and pay for the next year prior to the actual year coming. 
So that is how popular our prayer used to be. Uh, a lot of the family may be on board this morning. Good morning to all you all. You don't call any family names, but you all would know you know you all because I used to see you all every every vacation up here. I used to live here. You always have vacation here. I right, we walk through the back section. We're not do the front today because there's just too much wind blowing right now to really um, give you any um, narration on the front section. So we're gonna go through the back area here. As you can see um, Cheryl, she's taking a rest. She's not able. We are, we, she's catching her breath. Look, look, look poor Cheryl. You can see now, since I've been training Nicole, she's a lot fitter. Nicole is able to stand up, but Cheryl has to seek uh, refuge on a bench. Yeah, but Cheryl, you want to say something? Just the beauty of the flower, even yes. though it's dry. Right. This is so beautiful. Yeah, so the, this the is what Cheryl is pointing out to you. Yeah. I will have to say she has a, a very good uh, excuse. She's here saying she's admiring the flowers. Let me know she's catching her breath. But no, my Cheryl, I have to say you're a well-trained uh, emc -er for sure. <laughs> a Spice Girl always has a plaster for every sort. Mary, you're willing to say something, but she... Mary, would like saying to anyone right now? No? Is that light blinding you? Rather, and I've got nothing to confess to, otherwise, I would have confessed. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you can see Mary is putting her own input. I don't know how many of y'all believe that, but anyhow, Mary, that's very good of you. And nice to know you have nothing to confess. And it's not that Cheryl doesn't have anything to confess, she just cannot be fair. She will not confess it, it's too terrible. Cheryl, how are you this morning? You're good? I am fine. I'm, I thank you for getting up in the morning. I know when you go back home, you probably go back to bed till 12 o'clock or something. Dance this morning. You have dance this morning? Oh, yeah, Cheryl. Oh, hold on a minute. Who, who is that on? Who is that? Simone is on. Simone, who? Thompson. I thought, morning. We, I thought we dealt with anonymity. Why are you exposing Simone? Huh? Good morning, C. Yeah, yeah. Good morning, Simone. So, we have, we have, Simone is on Spice Girl, uh, as you all know, she's called okay. Wa sorry, Water I'm Baby Gabriel. Spice. My what? head is down and the phone's still saying good morning to everybody. Thank so what, 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 what was, what's unusual about that there? <laughs> you usually leave us alone on Saturday. Um, and also we have on board, of course, our co-star is on this morning, Jeanette, and Kim as well, Kim Hennessy, who's uh, known as our Selfie, Selfie Spice Girl. So, Selfie Spice yeah. Little Girl Major. They're all coming back. Um, Kim and everyone else has left Barbados, is coming back to Barbados very soon, so don't worry, they'll be back with us shortly. Um, I'm actually using it as a reprieve because I'm really happy to be rid of them for a little while, especially Simone. She is so annoying. Unfortunately, she's left a person with a similar name here to annoy me every Thursday. Good morning to you, Simone. I'm not telling me your name is Nikita. Um, I'll just leave it as Simone for now so that you can keep your anonymity and nobody would know who you are. <laughs> Oh boy. All right, unfortunately, we have bush in front of us. But as you can see, it is bush. It looks absolutely terrible. Um, nothing on it of any sub uh, consequence. And of course, you don't eat the fruit in them. Remember, only ornamental fruit. So this is where their kitchen entrance was, where all the, stock, uh, all the vehicles used to come and um, deliver all the products to the hotel. And this was the VIP parking for the former war wagon. This is where I used to park all the time, right here. This was my designated car park. Um, no one used to give me any trouble. I used to park so well that all the delivery vehicles used to be able to negotiate themselves around it or navigate. Everyone seems to want to use that word now. See, we're not going to do the beachfront. We're going to do a little bit more of here. Remember, this was this block was not here when I first started coming. Ashley and Trot and Kevin Branker, etc. This is where we this is where we used to come and surf all the time. Forget the graphics on there. I don't have any control over that. It's beyond my control. Um, sorry about that, I didn't really mean to stay on it so long. I was looking at other areas to see where I could show you of interest. Uh, right, so this area is all, was new for us. Um, this, is, as I said, was all grassland when we first started coming here. The only thing that was here originally was this section up here. Um, this was the main block itself. Did a lot of renovations just before closing. Um, I don't know, not too sure why they planted those casuina trees. That was purposely done. I don't know if they're going to keep them in hedges, but they were, um, even when this was open, those casuina trees were blocking some of the visions and views. Um, but I don't not too sure what went into that planning. I'm going to take a little walk around here as well. Remember, this area is lonely. It's secluded. Um, so if you're coming up here, uh, don't do as you see me doing. Don't do as I do. Um, I usually walk around here by myself. I feel pretty comfortable. If I ever feel uncomfortable, I am given little notices to be weary. And here will come me back of my neck and God will tell me, okay, well, not here today. That's how I feel anyhow. I'm sure he gives me that presence. Um, so I wouldn't come out here, but today is a perfect day for this area. We have some ladies with us who are my bodyguards today. Um, they cannot run as fast as me, so I know that I am absolutely fine and safe. So this is the old block, as I said. A lot of renovations went on just prior to closing. was very different um, originally. They actually expanded all the lattice work above on the deck, so you wouldn't really look into the gallery areas because those walls were too low. 
and then this was in your the second section was built up here you used to come into this section by you um by the reception area third block was the one that we went up this long out by the ocean fourth and final block was the one up where really when surfing club used to be you can see massive property it's a crying shame to see this like this and other places with the soil being broken to put hotels i really would love to see all of these older hotels uh, there's got to be some kind of incentive that a big chain of hotels would be eager about you know maybe a discount to rate on something something rather than just leave it here to sit and go like this um it'd be beautiful to start putting some investment back up here also bring in tourism back to the sexy island if you will remember just before this closure a lot of bars and restaurants little bars privately owned bars and restaurants in surrounding areas open um, to get some of the business from up here and as soon as their structures were built it pretty much went down um, real crying shame because a lot of people lost everything there are no guarantees um, or we shouldn't base our our uh, investments on other people's interests however people did that and therefore they suffered tremendously you can see there was full courts up here as well two courts and fully lit as well so you could play it morning or night Definitely not usable right now. I guess you could use it if you want to come up here and knock about a little bit, uh, fool around a little bit, maybe skate or whatever, skateboard. Um, it is usable, but I don't know what the security aspect is up here. I see it's patrolled quite often by the Barbados Police Force, um, who will dry, do some drive throughs I've actually spoken to a couple of them sometimes, just to let them know that we were just bringing this beauty of this place to the world. Here we go. Here we go. Do your thing there, Nicole. Let, let's, let's see what you do here. Come. Let's see. Cheryl, you, you know how to play tennis? No. You don't know how to play tennis? Mary, you know how to play tennis? You used to play right over oh, here. Mary, please give us a little bit of your history of this location and memories of Silver Sands. I've been painting a picture of what it was like. I would like you to know, tell us what you remember of Silver Sands. Well, we played tennis right here, a few of us, mm -hmm. some friends, right. and we all had small children, so we put them there and they had their little tricycles and all their little entertainments there, and we would be getting our exercise. Beautiful. But you also use the resort as well, too. Remember what we the resort used was like? To, um, use the swimming pool to yeah. after and the, the jacuzzi the jacuzzis I don't think they were there oh that okay at that time this right. was many moons ago right that would be for yeah they were yeah. a lot of uh, expansion mm -hmm. yeah so uh, but we used to play tennis here and the right. children run around and we used to go for a swim afterwards so you walked through some memories when you went through this resort just now yes you were feeling them as well yes, it's yes. amazing huh? how you can actually tap your mind and, and bring back the memories and feel as though you're walking through it as it was yeah. huh? amazing yeah. for sure yeah Yep. That's so, so shame, such a shame to see it come to this. I agree, and I, I definitely, as, as we have all discussed individually and stuff off air, that places like this should be the first place that you lay through resorts rather than break new ground. You yes. know, I think all these old yes. old plants should be put back into play. But I guess um, we are not really the planners or the investors. Yes. You know, so I guess that's how it goes. All right, so we have two people here that don't stop talking. Mm -hmm. As you can see quite clearly, we all know Cheryl doesn't oh, stop talking. Cheryl, why are you backing out of my film? I'm trying to, you know, it, my visual for this is it's so sad because there are, here's a tennis court that could be invested for kids mm -hmm. that are not, you know, who their parents can't afford to give them right. tennis lessons. This should be used for that. Yep. So to, the for the government to open have been, this. To but be this used is for our. Here. You know, Something, small living, yeah. like, you know, persons who retired or persons who want to be in a smaller home setting and they want to give up their home and sell it or whatever. Mm -hmm. these, these apartments could be switched into one and two bedroom apartments and you pay a minimum rent and whatever. So see, so many different ideas that could be used yes, for, yes, you know, yes, that's such that's a shame. You know, yes. home, people who are going so through transitions of life that, yeah. that they've lost jobs and all that, it could be, you know, use, income, for, that. Uh, uh, use for it for that. Yeah. This, yeah. this bothers me so yeah. much yeah. because I would love to it's see too kids beautiful a property. Yeah. being able yeah. to come here and be taught tennis. Yeah. 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 As I told you, this, this tour was going to spark some emotions as they yeah. came through and saw what it used yeah. to be like yeah. or you, can understand and, what it offered. Last on Saturday morning, we were talking about Hyatt going up mm -hmm. to Bridgetown, right. historical area, and being 17, 18 mm -hmm. feet high. Stories, so yeah. Yeah, here mm -hmm. is a and property they, right. that the same Hyatt could, you know, Easily. utilize. Yep. There are many, many on the they island, actually. Over, so And they could utilize this. And, and then it could be staycations for locals. Some could be residents for persons who could, who could afford to live on compound. It could have multiple uses, you mm -hmm. know. So I think that... Yes, we want investment, but we I think we need to look at also. what infrastructure is here and what could be utilized first before we start building something else and 
Yeah. yeah. And what can yeah. we also utilize for the locals? There's yeah. a lot that is just sitting around that they can use, you know, for the locals. Yeah. Yes, and I remember pops. coming here for a wedding and how beautiful this grounds was and yep. all that. And my children were small, so to see it in this kind of disrepair, it's one thing for you to show us on the blog, but to physically be present yep. this morning yep. and feel it this, the disrepair and the yeah. loneliness and the desolateness of what was a beautiful location. No. Yeah. You see, I love, I love seeing the emotions that are sparking with you all because you can yeah. see I have goosebumps coming up. And yeah. that is because every time I come here, I, I feel this place. I yeah. remember it. I lived here for yeah, years, right, day yeah, in and day out. Too. You know, and to, for you all to come here and understand and feel what's going on. I mean, oh. Cheryl, have you ever visited here before, Cheryl? Yeah. No. All right, but you, you see the emotions are against her and you right now? It is. And, it's yeah. really sad because yeah. it, there's so much. And uh, yes, Barbados needs tourism, but our locals, the locals matter. Yeah. And there's so much, like, again, in the yeah. essence of being redundant, this bothers me a whole lot because I know there are people kids that will love to play tennis mm -hmm. just for having this it's yeah. sitting there yeah. it's nothing they're tennis instructors that could teach kids mm -hmm. tennis yeah. not yeah. to yeah. be professional yeah. but just to be as an exercise right mm -hmm. the buildings this, these can be used for people that don't have yeah. that whether they're nicole said maybe if they're retired if they're retirees they're going to charge right. them but there's enough here so that could be, be used, done for the yeah. local people that basically would not have had a chance. Yes. And, and people yeah. who are getting older and now are widowers and they cannot handle the maintenance of a big property yeah. anymore, they may want to sell that off and, and come and live in something like this that is self-contained and they yeah. don't have, they still have the ambiance of, of gardens and, and all those facilities but not have the maintenance and upkeep. I, I think that I can't yeah. believe that yeah. it's with such a strong aging population and, and Barbados is some place where Every month we have a centenarian. Uh, precisely. Yep, so we sure. have a strong aging population. Mm -hmm. This could be utilized in such a way that, you know, the the owners still make money for rentals, but it is still, you know, mm -hmm. could be utilized for the country. It's this is a shame. Well, I, I, I'm so happy all are here that you all can feel what I feel because every time I do a vlog and I tell you all what you're feeling, um, I really can't describe it. You have to sense yeah, it for yourself. Yeah, you I mean, this, this is what I, I'm so happy that it's not a day of a, like, you know, I know you do your historic yeah. tours and I yeah. offered you today to do the microphone, but yeah. I'm glad you're able to walk and feel what you're feeling and experiencing yeah. it today. Yeah. And this is what yeah. we are encouraging yeah. everyone to come and do, you know, come and join yeah. us, yeah. enjoy Barbados, see it from a different way. You know, we're not, we're not a hiking group that's going to be flying from point A to point B. We're a group that just walks and feels and, and senses and stop sees. And stare. Yeah, stop and stare. Yeah, we can use the you can use Hudson's words for sure. Buildings yes. that are just sitting there. This Forget one it. and the other and hotel too that we're going yeah. 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 It's, 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 yeah, it's a little and, bit and sad. And there are always high occupancy. I never remember here ever not being high occupancy. Yeah. You know, but anyhow, that's how it goes. And, and again, it's whoever owns it and maybe the occupancy drop, but it's here that can be used again for the locals. Absolutely, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. In, in every capacity. There must the be locals. some way to transition. Because there are people yeah. who live around the area, so it's not an area that people yeah. don't live around. Yes, yeah. for know? sure. And you know, ladies, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Um, it's a special treat to have you all with us. Though my name was annoyed and frustrated when I saw you coming. And when I heard you were coming, I've had nightmares last night. I did not sleep well. <laughs> so, so you can see Mary. Mary still thinks I left her alone. Yeah. And, yeah. Yes. and somebody said, I can't remember who it was that said, on the blog, Angela Cox. Thank you, Angela. Oh, no, no, no. If, if Angela says something, I don't no, want to hear it. Because of what you did to the ladies this morning, that you dissed them and all that, you should buy them breakfast. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. You think so? <laughs> well, that's very interesting. I, I do have a pack of soda mix <laughs> and a pack of uh, nuts <laughs> in the back of the truck. We can sit and have breakfast when we're finished. Yeah. And I already spilled my coffee, so that's why. Yeah. That's only because you didn't fall down. Didn't fall if you, if you fall, fall down, you want to spill the coffee. That's yeah. what it is. Anyhow, thank you again to our Spice Ladies. Um, you all know already that the EMC is all of us, but without the core, without the foundation of people who are every day dedicating themselves in one way or another, and that would be a lot of you as well, it doesn't end in our Spice Ladies, is each and every one of you come on every morning and share your love and your kindness. Even if you've been to somewhere before, you still come on and say hello to everyone and, and generate the peace and love that we have for each other. Without all of you and without all of these special ladies here, um, this EMC would not flourish because there are many times that I've lost my way and they brought me back on track, you know, just like uh, my co-star, you know, I, I got into a, 
a rut and she's come and lifted me right back out and I'm off and running again. So thank you for your inspiration. <laughs> thank you for your inspiration and your motivation. Hold on a minute, I see she wants to talk some nonsense. Let me go to her. Yeah, 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 you go ahead, let me hear. No, 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 hide behind your microphone. Come talk, sir. I looking down and looking at everybody's comments. And your talk was saying what, though? What were you saying? No, I was saying I was rude. I should look up and smile at everybody. That's not what you said. You're such a liar. Nicole, if you had this gimbal, you'd do a better, a better job. Everybody can look at you and see you're lying this morning. Yeah. True. Okay. I'm a little angel. Oh. Can yeah, you all see my, my wings and my halo? Oh yes, I, I, I see them. I see a Mercedes symbol. That's why I see. I don't know about you. Anyway, Mary, thanks again for coming out this morning. Thanks for being um, you know amazing in the way you are. Actually, all three of these ladies here, these these are amazing ladies. Along with many others, are not here again in front of the camera this morning, but the three are here, so I can thank them it's for. Work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I'm trying to get out of pain for and breakfast. Then he's gonna yeah. run away. If you, you see, that's I was just about to say, trying to get us a breakfast and saying how wonderful oh, we no, are. Oh, no, I don't want to get out of breakfast. I want he, you to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, he paid Saturday, he paid Sunday, and now yeah. we, today's Monday. So uh -huh. it looks as good. Uh -huh. Pay, uh -huh. Paid Saturday, paid Sunday, and paid Monday. Well, you all spend <laughs> a good rumor about here, a retiree like me that living on pension. Yeah. Anyway, we don't mind her. As you can see, she's also a good liar. Cheryl, you're not even touching gimbal. You're doing a great job. But again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to still tell again. Thank the three of you all and everyone else that plays a major part in this CMC. Remember, the only way that we're going to get this out to the world is if each of us can let all of our friends know. Share when we have the opportunity. Even if we don't share on our pages, mm -hmm. we can still just share the love and the wealth as we walk around and say, well, come and join us at EMC. Yeah. Spread the word, spread the joy. Yeah. So it's from... Wonderful to see yeah. it. We, we enjoy it. Yeah, okay. So let me, let me just put my microphone ready here so we can say our farewells to everyone. Um, and I'm hoping that everyone will get in the camera. Let me take off my hat so I block, don't block them and be oh. out of place. And from... From us He's to you all. Hit us with his umbrella. Oh yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, no okay. <laughs> mind, no mind. You're not supposed to talk with these things in public. Yeah. You all have a great day. We love yeah. having you all. Thanks. Spread the okay, word of peace and joy. Yes. Yes. Thank it was you. fun. Thank you. I'm happy to see you I guys. Thank you everybody Enjoy. for thank all you. the lovely, encouraging comments yep. on Saturdays. It really Always. Really I mean on Saturdays. Well, how many yeah. rest of your week, Nicole? Right. Okay. Yeah, Do that again, that. please. Take one. Cut. Cut. Take two. Come again, Nicole. Looper. So, thank you everybody for all the wonderful, encouraging comments with the EMC during the week. Oh. We love being here with you and we love giving you back the love. Yes. By Saturday with Nicole. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Anyhow, so remember tomorrow we have another sunrise or daybreak for you and then Wednesday is off day, Thursday Q in the community, Friday another sunrise again. Saturday the biggest lion in Barbados comes zero way. And then on Sunday we'll be doing something again at one of the offices located on the island, another shot in the dark. Hope you all have a great day. Remember, Thanks guys, have carry your a peace. great day. Yep. Carry, carry your peace, peace carry your love, carry your joy, spread yeah. to everyone around you. There are a lot of unfortunate people that don't get this, what we're experiencing yeah. today. So A smile can make someone's day yeah. change. Yeah. And yeah. a hello can bring them back from the edge of a yes. cliff. Have a great day everybody. See you all later. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this is, this, this, I this know. is so this amazing. Is terrible. This is, it's amazing that it's here.